Hey everybody, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Oxygen Not Included Badlands Episode 9, which originally streamed live on Twitch. Now I believe that we already have someone that can um, tune that up, don't we? Yes, Hess can do it. All right, Hess. Tune it. Salt water, guys, it will help. Yes, it will. It will absolutely help. You're right. I forgot about that. Yeah, that will absolutely be clutch. So here I want uh, refined metal iron. Nine. Or maybe eight. Okay. Uh, do, do, do. Okay, we're almost done with advanced power regulation, and then I'll be able to start running the filters. I'm a little worried about running the filters too early because uh, I don't want to blow out cables or anything. The diffusers that I have here can be broken down. I um. Obviously, I'm not going to use diffusers anymore because I'm just about out of algae. It'd be good to have, like, a few extra diffusers just in case I, I, you know, I need to make some supplementary. Because you can hand deliver it. Which is kind of nice. So this is at maximum pressure right now, which is why it's not currently operating. Oh, and Hess is tuning up. Awesome. So this room is a power plant. Because it's uh, smaller than 96 tiles, and it has the power generator and the power plant in it, so that's cool. Hey, Noofy! What's up? And then as soon as I, I have this running kind of full-time, I will, um, I'll pull you all about next project. I'm not quite finished yet. Alright, so with the engine tune-up, uh, this thing produces more power for the grid. What is going on with my research, though? Oh, uh, yeah, get rid of that. Did I cut power or something weird? Yes, I did. I did. That would explain why there is no power up there. All right, so I'm gonna put a gas vent here and then let's put one here and Down, he, uh, well, let's plant down here. So this is uh, vents which will carry oxygen around the base. Puppy treats, you got it, dude. Hey, Yoda, Viper loves you. The build is going down, so I'm going to need to fix that soon. It's getting very thin. So, there we go. Power's on. Filter's on. Oxygen is flowing. And I just got 
the research that I wanted to make sure I don't burn out my cables. So let's get this hooked up right away. Weird. It was like invisible. There we go. Eventually, I'm going to have to move up to a next the next tier power. Uh, but for now, that will that will do. So if we move up to the next tier power, we'll get uh, conductive wires ASAP. And then let's go ahead and make this an emergency or a legitimate emergency because we'll suffocate without it. And then keep an eye on my breathability up here. It should we should see it going up, not down. Oh, right, I need another mess table. Thank you. I completely forgot about that. Sorry, Glitch. You've been screwed. All right, so with this power generator, it's going to stop more than a thousand watts going into the cables, which will prevent burnout. And then up here, you can see the oxygen going into... The system, which, uh, whoopsie. It's supposed to be flowing. Hey, hello? Oh, it's not built yet. Which is flowing out here, so there's a pocket of oxygen here. My breathability is going up, as you can see. And then, uh, let's go ahead and hook this up as a high priority. And then we'll get the rest of the, um, get the rest of the lines, uh, done soon so that we have some breathability in the base. So then the chlorine that I don't want goes up to vacuum. Goes bye-bye. Yep, and here comes oxygen into the bathroom. Cover up the smell of my stinky farts. And this is tuned up. Sweet. All right, we're looking good. New printable, let's take a look, and then I'll pull y'all for next. Shine them figs, I guess. Cookie fry, yep. All right, what should the next priority be? Uh, explore, hatch ranch, expand the farm, Drecker ranch, um... Exploit the geyser or viewer suggestions. Or actually, um, move great hall and bathroom to use Nat Reserve or viewer suggestions. I forgot about that one. All right, there we go. Bing! There it is, five minutes, and uh, up until then, or until that triggers, I'll just be doing like tidying maintenance, uh, working on the oxygen flow, that kind of thing. So here's the ventilation overlay, which is gonna get eights. And right now, we're just running out of a one of deoxidizer. I don't even have a second one going. I don't think I need a meh. Curious what happens if I get a second one. You can't have two gas pumps feeding one pipe. Uh, there's enough throughput. But I am not sure about the power situation, so that's why I'm waiting on that. Yeah, the, the pressure in here is high enough to be just fine. I, re I actually really don't need the other deoxidizer. I just realized.
Breathability is going up. So let's do the food just now. Make sure our food doesn't go dropping. And this water looks uh, ready to go sploosh around. Foxtrot and Garly, thank you for the follows, by the way. And uh, cheers, Glitch. Wow, uh, this pip has been rifling through my stuff. <laughs> Guess I'm okay with that. Just a little coffee. Uh, I love me some coffee. I'm gonna go for double coffee. Looks like you all want me to do a hatch ranch. I'm also going to uproot uh, two of these millwoods, even though I know my food is already low because I want to get wheeze warts in there to cool it down because it's uh... also the breath breathability in there is pretty, pretty garbage. So I think what I'll do is uh, disable these two vents because there's plenty of oxygen up here and let the oxygen actually come and dump into the, uh, the rest of the colony where we actually need it. So Wheeze Wart 1 and Wheeze Wart 2. Research for low resistance conductors. So the low resistance conductors allows me to get the conductive wire, which allows for 2 kilowatts. And then I could jump up to the heavy watt conductive wire, which allows 50 kilowatts. Or alternatively, go heavy watt wires, which I'll probably try to do heavy watt wire networking. Um because it doesn't require refined metals, which is a lot cheaper. Uh, but that's uh, TBD sometime down the line. Not something we'd do right now. This thing is producing 900 watts, which is plenty to keep the power on, I think. Breathability is still not great, though. But now that the oxygen is actually making it down to the rest of the base, perhaps it goes back up. I might need to get the second deoxidizer and another gas pump out, though. Uh, I suppose it doesn't hurt to have it and not use it. So, yeah, let me let me just do that. I'll have it and maybe, maybe I won't use it. So we'll stick, uh, we'll stick eights on here. Okay. Start a hatch ranch. Copy that. Hmm. Right on. Hess, leveling up. Give you... Can no... Uh, maybe carrying. Alright, armor all, all looks good. Cool. Alright, start hatch ranch. There it is. The new goal up top. Yeah, my breathability is definitely a uh, low-key struggle bussing. Well, it's getting a little better. It's just definitely slow. 
So a second pump might be nice. We'll see. So if we take a look at the research, let's continue to research ranching, because, you know, can't really start a ranch without that. Yeah, uh, Glitch already has ranching skill, so we're good on that front. How much power am I using right now? Current load, 860. So I'm very, very, very close to my max load. Um, got it. Got to be careful about that. All right, I feel like breathability is finally going up. Sort of. Ish. Oh, uh, we can't reach this, can we? No, we can't. Hey, Chan. Thanks for the resub, dude. Seeing you resubbing reminds me to remind everybody in chat that if you are a subscriber of mine and would like to submit an idea for the uh, RimWorld miniseries marathon for March, uh, your deadline is March or uh, February 28th, so... You know what? I actually don't want to unlock that because I want them to have to go through a sink. So, um, never mind. Keep that locked. Or rather... Open, but only left to right. I think is better. That's fine. Wouldn't it move, be easier to move the beds? Oh yeah, I could move the beds at any point. And I'm, I'm sure at some point I will move the beds around. I'm just trying to work on the projects that you all vote on. So ranching just got uh, researched. So, we can build a grooming station and a, well, I don't really need a shearing station. So, we'll build a grooming station and then we'll build a drop-off point. And a critter feeder. So, put the critter feeder here and the critter drop-off here. What kind of ranch are we getting? We're getting a hatch ranch. We have a crazy amount of granite here, so we might as well be feeding that granite to the hatches and turning the granite into food. Am I going to switch for stone hatch? Well, you can't switch them, but yeah. Eventually, yeah. Stone hatches would be uh, probably the ideal. When we, once we, we start breeding them, we'll get what we want out of them. Alright, so breathability has been climbing. Uh, the issue right now is that Oh, is this not tuned up? Yeah, it's not tuned up. Give me some omelets. So the crater feeder here is going to be for hatches. Stone. Well, so stone hatches 
Uh, uh, for, for now, we will do regular hatches, but eventually stone hatches. So hatches and hatchlings. And they are going to be fed, let me pick it myself, sandstone. So we're going to fill this critter feeder with sandstone. I'll put this as an eight. And then the drop-off point is going to be for hatch and hatchlings. And then we'll get taming. So I do need food in the critter feeder first. And then eventually maybe get uh, smooth and stone hatches instead. Oh, a new achievement. What we get? Oxygen not included. Yeah, we distributed a... Uh, uh, like a half a ton of oxygen through this uh, this network here. So I was right to be concerned, I think, uh, that basically right now I don't have um, enough power to really keep this flowing. So adding more pipes and deodorizers uh, doesn't make sense unless I upgrade my power grid, which will be included as a priority soon. But right now I just browned out, so... Where do you go for the suggestions for March? Uh, join my Discord server. That's that's where it is. All right, Hess. Priorities. You are going to be high priority operator. So that we can tune up. Because it's going to be really important to keep that tuned. And then up here, it looks like my storage bin for rust is rather low. But there's plenty of rust for us to get. So... I just have to pick where I want to start mining it. I'll just mine this stuff for now. Got a little bit of backup here. There we go. We're almost done uh, with all the water down here. Pet Yoda. Hey, buddy. Install a light? Yeah, I could install a light up here. Make it a little bit faster. Or, uh, probably a really good place for a light is where research is done. Speaking of research, let's queue something up. I don't really, uh, I don't really need an incubator so much. Not yet, at least. Let's do smart storage. And quit it with the mush bars. We have plenty of storage now. Dog is super cute. Well, thank you. He is a little cutie, isn't he? He's very sweet, too, which is awesome. <laughs> yeah, you are. Very cuddly. Alright, if we take a look at the temperatures here, obviously the temperature in here has dropped a little bit, which is comfortable. Good. I like it. Uh, breathability is up to 63%. Could be higher, but I think uh, we're going to need a bit of a, uh, a power grid overhaul for that to climb much higher, I'd imagine. And we still haven't had any critter feeder delivery, so uh, let me find a... Here we go. We have some sandstone in here. What else do they eat? These sand? Oh, 
Oh, why was this deselected? There we go. That's probably why it wasn't done. Sandstone to sand. Okay. So once this starts to get uh, delivered food, there we go. Now we can start wrangling them. So let me queue up a wrangle task. Capture critters. And then we could also physically move the eggs in as well if we wanted. So I could set up a storage bin here for eggs. Take a look at this room. It is a stable. It could be a little bit larger, up to 96 tiles, but uh, this is good for now. Would it make sense to put an, uh, the oxygen on a separate power grid? Yeah, I mean, you could have multiple power grids for sure. Um, that might be a good project for the future to keep it on two separate lower wattage grids. It just does mean that we're going to need to tune up two different coal generators. So, it is more work, in other words. Uh, priorities. Glitch. Branching. Highest. And then here, we're going to put the critter eggs uh, for hatchlings. High priority. And then once they get moved, because I really only have the one, once it gets moved, we'll dump it. Can we get some better generators? Uh, that will be uh, a priority for us to vote on. Let me also add in some airflow tiles in here, because um, we want to breathe a bit. Oh, yeah, there we go. We have a hatch captured, ready to get delivered. And smart storage just got researched. I'll probably not queue up any more research right now because there's really nothing I need. I'd rather have my researcher working. There we go. We have our first hatch. Uh, so then the grooming station, I'm going to stick to sevens. So that glitch will start... Uh, Grooming the hatches and domesticating them. And let's tidy up the remainder of the uh, granite here. Yeah, breathing is good. So, uh, next project. There you go. We got uh, seven choices. One, explore. Two, expand the farm. Three, a Drekka Ranch. Four, explore the geyser. Uh, five, great hall and bathroom moving to use the Nat Reserve, which I called Reserver for an unknown reason. Uh, six, improve the power grid or seven of your suggestion. Choice is yours. And thank you for voting. All right, I am going to try to turn these on. Oh, so the right now we're waiting on Rust delivered. There we go. That's why it's not happening. So this is drawing... Oh, no, we're not going over the 1,000 watt. That's cool. Oh, you should be wrangled again. And then this pump can be turned off. In fact, this plumbing can be removed. 
the power for this pump can be removed. And then I'm going to mop up the remaining water and dump the remaining water here. So this is going to be dump for all liquids, not auto bottled so that we can clean up. Oh, and before we dump that, please sweep this granite up so it doesn't pollute. So now these hatches are pooping out coal and the coal gets stored over here. That's why I could have put the ranch here, uh, but I decided to move it a little bit over in case I wanted to add to the power grid here. Taking a look up here. Oh yeah, this is um. I mean, this is a lot of oxygen going through the the system. So, I don't know. I, f I feel good about that. All right, we have Viper. I'll give you construction. I know you want to be a constructor. Sorry, Pufflet. Okay, clean water coming out. And this storage bin was for, yeah, liquefiable ice. Makes sense. So three hatches and the egg should be in here. So there it is. We got uh, two incubating eggs. Oh, and there is more. So wrangle, wrangle, wrangle. If they get cramped. Yeah, I know about the cramping. They'll... Uh, yep, they're starting to get cramped now. So what I could do is I... Um, I'm going to expand the roof a bit. Here, let me clean this up first. Yeah, I'll clean it up first. So they're not reproducing at the moment, but uh, I'll be fixing that. It also looks like the improving the power grid is, yep, just one. So, let's add it. Improve power grid. So to, in order to improve the power grid, um, I am going to be browning out a bit. So what I'm doing is I'm installing heavy watt wires instead of the light wires so I can generate a lot more power. And add another coal jenny as well. So two heavy watt wires. That way, uh, there's really no way for us to blow out the cable, the power within the power plant itself. And then I'll be using transformers. I'm going to set two different transformers up. Uh, and then one transformer is going to be for the lower half of the base. The other transformer is going to be for the upper half of the base. So uh, I am going to need a joint plate here. 
Meaning that I'm going to need ladders and to dig all that out as well. Okay, there's the joint plate. So not ladders there. Let's delete those ladders. There we go. Alright. Well, we're still going to rely on uh, coal for a bit longer, but we'll have a, a lot more power generation than we had prior. In fact, I could add yet another coal generator if I wanted to. We'll see if, uh, we'll see if Two's enough at 1,800 watts, or I could kick it up to three if if we really need. Breathability looks good. We're at 96% breathability, so that's uh, better than it ever was, which is awesome. And, yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, here we go. Put the tune up. So up here, we'll do a another, where is it? Power transformer. Fed by heavy watt. And then this will be a separate wire, which will be dedicated solely for oxygen. So eventually, once this wire is made, I'll snip it here and have that go up. Two totally separate power networks fed by the same network of batteries. I will probably need to run a aux vent out here, so I'll go ahead and do that. Because Hess is having a hard time breathing. Don't want him suffocating. And we'll set this project to eights. All right. So these smaller wires. I'm going to get rid of now. And I'm going to feed the transformers with the heavy watt wires only. Which this one is going to be an emergency. Come on, someone deliver. There we go. All right, looking good. Oh, this wire needs to go too. Let me do emergency destruction of these wires because they, uh, they'll, they're just going to burn out. Here we go. So now we have two separate networks. This doesn't lead anywhere yet, but it will. And then uh, we're also going to want to set up the automation wire so that the automation wire that we have uh, on the smart battery controls both coal generators so that we don't waste coal and then down here destroy this cable done and now we have two separate networks entirely we have this northern network which is for the uh the oxygen rust generation and i think what i'm going to do just for beauty is embed this in the uh embed this in the floor and then we have the southern which is for research and water filtration and the, and the like. We good. We gold. That worked out.
All right, look at that oxygen come. Very breathable now. Uh, this is uh, still a... No, is it? All right, it's a power plant because it's at 47. Oh, yeah, there's plenty of space. I want to add more to it later. Yep, yeah, there we go. The smart battery is turning off the coal generators automatically. So this coal generator will be fed night eight. And let, let's set everything here is an eight. Eight, 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 eight. Got it. Cool. Uh, what should the priority be? I can improve the power uh, power grid again, or explore, farm, ranch, geysers. It's up to you. It is all up to you. All right, so here we go. We are expanding the um, the ranch a little bit again, so that uh, the hatches aren't sad and they reproduce. Might have made this room. Yeah, it's a little bit too large. I'll shrink it. Yeah, I'll shrink it down by one like that. Posture check. You got it. Ooh, fresh coffee. Hello. Will you excuse me a moment while I indulge? What is the dimensions? 96, 96. Rock on, it's perfect. Look at all this lovely coal. All right, so there we go. We have a ideal ranch. One of possibly multiples. If you want me to keep ranching, that's totally cool. And now we have a prettier way to hide our power cables. So I'll delete the old method. We used a lot of uh, copper recently, so I should hit this copper here. Alright. Breathability is good. I think what I'll do is I'll uncap this and this. Bring my breathability up even more. And we got a printable. Oh, and skills. Glitch! Give you better ranching. Oh, and let's give you the hat associated with the better ranching. And then a blueprint. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll take copper. Keep it simple. I think what I want to do is, uh, a bit of a cleanup project. Ooh, there's a carbon pool here. That's not good. Bit of a cleanup project, just to tidy up around the base to make it prettier for preventing, like, morale negatives. Because a dirty environment... Oh, there's nowhere to put these eggs, though. A dirty environment is obviously going to make them sad. It looks like exploding a guys is going to win. Hmm. Puppy treats, you say, Kellyan? The puppy gets the treats.
So most of these are now tame. Glorious. So I do have a question about geyser exploitation, because I know of a few. So we'll have to figure out which ones you want, or what one you want me to try to exploit. So which geyser? Uh, we have, let me just, I'll put them all down. So we've got a leaky oil. Leaky oil fissure. Was that, was that, was that what, was that what, the formal name? Let me do that again. Yes. Leaky oil fissure. Uh, alternatively, we have the cool steam. Cool steam vent. Uh, we have also got, what is this? The saltwater geyser. And we have the infectious polluted oxygen vent. I believe those are the only ones I know about. So there we go. What geyser do you want me to exploit? And let me double check that there aren't more uh, while you vote. I'll just slow time down a little bit while I do that. I don't believe I know of any others, to my knowledge. And Jazzium, thank you for the resub. Full year. Congrats, dude. Congrats. Or congrats to me, really. Can I tell you what they're for? Sure. So the leaky oil fissure gives me oil. Oil can be produced. Oil can be turned into power or turned into petroleum for plastics. Uh, cool steam vent is this one. It produces water but kind of hot water because it comes off as steam. So I'd have to cool it down to use it or it's just hot or whatever. Uh, saltwater geyser, which produces salt water, which we can desalinate to get salt out of it and also water. Or the infectious polluted oxygen vent, which is, uh, well, infectious polluted oxygen. Um, that would help us give us oxygen, but then comes with the complexity of the oxygen is trying to kill us. So, yeah, that's sort of the TLDR. More or less. And I'm going to get these two wheeze warts. Okay. Uh, let me put a, just a minute on that timer. Looks like it's a bit of a runaway pull. Saltwater geyser is the favorite choice. Oh, this isn't tuned up. Mmm, oxygen. We do have a CO2 pool here, which is not great. So I'm going to dig through here. And, uh, oh, we even have a thimble reed. No kidding. Um... Yeah, so that we can liberate this and have it drift down to the ox skimmer. Or the carbon skimmer. Okay. Saltwater geyser. So. Exploit saltwater geyser is the current project. So the saltwater geyser was here um so the first big question is how do i get there i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to set up a water lock here
allowing access to these lockers safely and then dig through here over to the geyser. I think that's probably the best way. Or at least the way I'm gonna do it. Hey, Mick, thank you for the sub and welcome to the stream. Cheers, dude. I appreciate it. This is the way. I can agree to that. Is definitely a messy base without a whole lot of um, a whole lot of design, <laughs> but hey, uh, it works. It's home. Hello, hatches. All right, so here's the dig over. Colony achievement. What did I win? We got row flush. Replace all the houses. Oh, wash basins. Yeah, because I destroyed the wash basins. That makes sense. And in fact, let me uh, high priority clean this up because this is just giving off uh, polluted oxygen, which I don't really want. Uh, this should be allowed in here. It is. There. There we go. Thank you for tuning in to Oxygen Not Included, which originally streamed live on Twitch February 24th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. But please keep in mind that this is a casual playthrough. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. This series is a result of a weekly poll where my viewers determine through polling what I play on Twitch. So if there's to be any more of this stream and these episodes, you have to vote for it. Thank you so very much for watching. Special thank you to my Twitch subscribers, Patreon patrons, and viewers like you that support the channel. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, duplicants.